Welcome back to another session of the weekly forecast for indices futures. Next week, 14th of October to 18th of October. Let us look at, take a look at the monthly chart. Over here, I can see that we have the previous month's high for NQ that we might want to gravitate to with next week. And we have this week over here. So the higher time frame objectives has been has always been quite clear. We are looking to take out this month's high and into the 50% of the week. I am not too confident that NQ is going to take out this high. So I'm just only looking for this level here as the low hanging fruit. I would even consider this as a low hanging fruit as well because it doesn't have to trade up into the 50%. But usually in most cases, it does trade up into the 50% because we have traded into the 25% and we have not displaced lower. So we could want to run this high and if it, want, if it runs this high, this would be the next low hanging fruit objective. On the weekly chart, we are still bullish because we are still respecting this bullish PDRA over here. Fair value gap for NQ. YM. Yes. Notice how we have SMT on the lows for this week and then price displaced higher. The SMT was formed on Monday or Tuesday, I'm not too sure. Quite early. On daily, we have this family gap down here. This is a bullish family gap. For NQ, we have the volume imbalance. Dow Jones, we have this family gap. For Dow Jones, I think it is going to leave it open because we have closed above the swing high. And I think that it is not practical for it to want to reach into this family gap right here. But if you have been trading long enough and you have if you have been watching Dow Jones long enough anything can happen with Dow Jones and it can provide a very strong manipulation down and then continue higher because most of the times decoupling always happens between Dow Jones versus the two other indices all right for yes it is totally reasonable for it to want to reach into this family gap. But if it does, it's going to be a high resistance liquidity run on the higher time frame because we have taken out this swing high. Therefore, to continue to spool higher, it needs to respect this down close candle. We have also closed above this high. So for ES, it is a very, very bullish. Therefore, if in a case we gravitate towards this family gap, we are going to anticipate a deeper retracement beyond this family gap. So the deeper retracements, I would be using this down close candle, maybe 25% or even the 50%. <clears throat> And if it is able to reach into this deep of a discount, 
we would be in a accumulation on the higher time frames because it, it is not wanting to expand higher because we would we would be closing back within the range for nq same thing i think it is reasonable for it to reach into this level here while es trades into this down close candle because nq is the weakest among the three indices and it has not taken out this high the only thing that it did was take out and close above this swing high here so it can still come down take out these two lows for the past two days into the volume imbalance so we might see a decoupling of nq next week whereby nq is the weaker asset if you have noticed nq printed an inside candle whereas es and ym did not so nq right here is unwilling to move higher at the same time if you compare the lows nq has the higher low the highest low among the three indices yes it's also higher low but if you compare it in terms of the range nq it's higher and dow jones obviously you have the lower low that would be the smt for this week despite having a or the highest low nq was unable to take out this high as compared to es and ym so this is something that is hinting me that price or the market condition is not that pristine because there's a crack in this correlation of strength because usually the one that makes the higher low will have no issues taking out the highs or multiple highs as compared to the one that made a lower low so just to keep that in mind we would we would need to prepare to see stronger retracements for nq next week for next week it's a bank holiday on monday and therefore we only have tuesday wednesday and thursday sorry tuesday wednesday thursday and friday for thursday there's a high impact news and that's pretty much it for next week so we only have a thursday's new news driver this is telling me that it is probably going to be a reversal thursday so i would anticipate monday tuesday wednesday to trend in the same direction that would be the best market profile that we're going to have for next week because if it trends in the same direction from monday to wednesday on thursday it is going to provide that retracement and smt is probably going to be formed between wednesday and thursday smt on the lows slash the highs the highs what i meant was if monday tuesday wednesday we continue to trade higher that would mean that we should anticipate a reversal on thursday and then friday would be the continuation of thursday's directional bias or the directional move and that's pretty much it for this session here i hope you enjoyed it and if you do do leave a like good luck trading next week and i will talk to you again